hello guys and welcome to my channel let me teach you how you can get rid of those wrinkles using a natural face mask so for today's ingredients you want to have a piece of avocado you have uh, some milk or yogurt some uh, banana peelings and some honey all right okay then you want to need a blender so that you can blend your ingredients together you want to have a chopping board and also you want to have a knife to slice off those chopping uh, peelings and also you'll need a bowl and a spoon so that you can be able to mix your ingredients together so let's do this so first you want to take your banana peelings and chop them into small pieces after you are done slicing the um banana peelings you want to come in with your avocado and remove the avo avocado peelings yeah after you're done uh, removing the peelings then you wanna uh, slice the avocado into small pieces put the two ingredients together in a bowl and mix them up uh, we are using avocados because avocados are very rich antioxidants and if you're looking for that anti-aging uh, ingredient then you should look look for it in avocados so avocado is one of the best things that you should consume every day for if you want to do away with wrinkles if you want to have that young look all right so mix them together add the milk or the yogurt if you have yogurt um natural yogurt the best if you don't have you can use milk the reason also we are using the banana peelings is because the banana peelings have that greasy effect on them and so this greasy effect um when we mix it with the avocado and we mix it with the um, with honey it will have that greasy uh, feeling when you put it on the face and this way you'll find that there, that that is what we are looking for because we want our face to to we want it to lift up our face we want to lift up the wrinkles yeah and so that's why we are using these two ingredients so for you to achieve good results um, ensure to put it in the fridge at least for 30 minutes before you do the application. Eh? Then when you're putting it on, also concentrate on the areas that you are so much insecure about. For me, it's the forehead, um, the smile lines, and under the eyes. That's where I have so much insecurity on. So I make sure that I have put it around those areas and also i don't leave my neck because i don't want my neck to look different from my face so after you are done applying you want to leave it for at least 30 uh, minutes if you have time you can leave it for a longer time so that it will be able to stick better on your face so give it time to stick on your face and then come back and clean it up even though the procedure looks somehow disgusting, I wish you can try this out because you're using natural products which are best for your face. It's been more than 30 minutes now on my face and I want to go and clean it up. I wish you can feel how hard my face is. It's so lifted up. I can feel the wrinkles um, have smoothened out, even though not completely, but I can feel a very good improvement on my face. So let me wash it out and come back. So as you can see, I've already cleaned up. I feel so good. I feel so refreshed. I feel um, my face is so smooth. The wrinkles somehow have disappeared, even not, even uh, though not completely, but there is a very great improvement. So it shows that if I do this uh, some uh, other times more often, then I'm sure I'll be very, I'll ve have very good results. Now I'm coming in with uh, some oil. I'm using this Casson's baby oil because I want now to uh, moisturize my face so that now it will be moisturized. Um, that's what I'm applying on my face. 
yeah and my face feels so smooth i like the feeling i like what i'm feeling and um i'm sure i'll be doing this more often twice or thrice a week and this way um i'll achieve the results i'm looking for so if you want to try that homemade um a solution that scrub that you're not going to use any my money buying which is natural for your face without any chemicals on it consider doing this and i'm sure you'll be able to give me the results comment on the comment section if you happen to use this procedure tell me what you think about it share subscribe to my channel for more because i'll give, be giving you more and more videos in regard to uh or which are more or less the same as this one so uh, let's meet next time for more videos and um i hope to catch you up in the comment section comment uh, tell me what you think and what if you've uh, tested the formula tell me what you think about it if you happen to be suffering from varicose veins, then I'm sure this video will be of interest to you. So kindly watch this next video. But for now, from me, it's bye-bye.